All right, what is up, everyone? We are back with the quarry, and my dumbass uh, screwed up here recently. So, yeah, I uh, recently found out that um, for some reason the PS5 automatically mutes your microphone when you go to do streams and everything. I uh, don't know why that happens, um, but the most important thing is. I uh, caught that early enough in the game that uh, we we didn't get too far. So, we are going to hop back into the quarry. We are going to restart the game. So, like I said, luckily I didn't get too far. And uh, we are going to start a new game here. Because, like I said... Uh, Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, <laughs> Max, we're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Alright. Oh, that's, that's not good. Yeah, nice honey, catch, though. Nice catch. Thank Look at them reaction times. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. How long have we been lost for? <laughs> you know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? <laughs> just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing anything, eyes rolling out of the head. That would not be good, that would not be ideal. All right, we better pick the map because if we are lost, we need to know where we're at. Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. And that's when you know you're way out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's see. So we are. Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps, 
Have you seen any signs for it? That's weird. Hey, what's he staring at? Whoa. Oh, what is that in the road? And this, everyone, is why you should uh, always keep your eyes on the road. I don't know why he didn't, like, try to slow down there. But this is why you should always keep your eyes on the road. Let that be a lesson, everyone. Always pay attention when you're driving. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lord, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know if we hit no. them, but... I mean, it was really cl close, like, really close, but maybe we didn't... I don't know what it was. I don't think it was a... It definitely wasn't a bear. It definitely, it didn't seem big enough. I really have this car up. Well, if you would have slowed down... Maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, out into the woods where nothing is going to get us. We are completely safe. We're not really, it's but. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> All right, let's go get the tools. Obviously, uh, he needs a moment there. What do we got back here? Oh, hello. Got a letter. Normally I don't condone snooping through people's stuff, but in an instance like this, I'm kind of curious. Uh-oh. That's a rejection letter. Why didn't you tell me? Well, now I feel a little awkward uh, snooping. Because to be honest... I have a feeling he probably would have told us so. later on. Yeah. And he might she get mad now yeah, if we find out that we went through his stuff. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. Then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heat. Anywhere's better than here. All right. Well, let's take a little look, uh, look around. Why don't we? Uh, there's somebody there. I don't like that. I don't like being watched out here in the woods. Where are you going? Just over here. Just. Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried there's... that there's somebody down there. There's sure? definitely somebody there. Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. With all my knowledge of horror movies and horror games, this seems like a terrible idea to go investigate. Okay. Luck with the car. And he's not coming with? Okay. Yeah, this definitely seems like a bad idea. Hello. What is this? 
the fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one. Huh. Alright. I don't like uh, that we're all alone out here in the woods. I thought he would have came with us. I guess, uh, I guess we can handle this, though. Got ourselves a poster over here. Harem Scarum. It's a poster for a traveling sideshow. Huh. Alright. Let's continue our investigation here through the woods. Gotta look around. What do we got here? Got a chest of some sort. Anything good in here? Oh, we got some handcuffs. An escapology trunk. Escapologist, perhaps? I don't know. We got some handcuffs in that. Maybe they're into some freaky shit, you know? Alright, let's keep moving. I don't like the idea of wandering through the woods here with just our phone and our good intentions. Especially when there is somebody out here with us. Oh, yes, I... Oh, dear God. I know you're there. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Silas? Who the hell is Silas? Yeah, I don't like being out here now. I don't know why we decided to come alone. It just seems like a terrible idea. She's looking all kinds of disoriented. I don't like this. Where are you? Oh, hell no. We gotta get out of here. I do not like this at all. Alright, go we dodge that. We gotta keep on moving. You're definitely getting out of here. Okay, good. We made our way back to the vehicle. All right, we gotta go. Hey, 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 what's, what's wrong? Is everything all right? Holy shit! Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like I was, there was noises all around me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, that uh. That was definitely not ideal. Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Um, well, maybe. Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Why, you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. 
I don't know why she's saying I'm trying to get us out of here. All she's doing is sitting in the front seat yelling. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh, fuck. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Well, that's not creepy at all. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. You folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah, I guess we can. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. Um. All right, honesty is always the best policy in these games, I feel. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out? I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. Why are they questioning me? I'm not even the driver. He's the driver. Ask him your questions, bro. Yes, sir. Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like... The all-time scariest cop. He's a little he's creepy. Cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, he seems to uh, be helping us get unstuck. folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night hey now calm down man we're heading up to Hackett's quarry summer camp we're new counselors you're one night early no no we know um but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out you know I mean they know we're coming we called ahead and to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <laughs> You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. Uh, excuse me? Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh... I think we're just going to stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming, and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're going to head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Um, excuse me? Okay. Fine. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost. Completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay, I thought at first he was like wanting us to step out. All right, all right that seems a little more reasonable. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Um, okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. This guy's acting really weird. We're not even the driver. Why don't you show the driver on the map where the hell we're going, you idiot? Okay. So, we... Um, that's not creepy at all. Right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. He seems to be very insistent we go to the motel. 
seems a little odd. Again, why is he like looking at us so weirdly? Harbinger here? Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. All right, that dude was uh was weird. That was uh, definitely interesting. I don't know why he doesn't just guide us to the motel instead of just pointing it on the map in a creepy manner. Why is he so insistent we go to that motel? Why is so, this guy just sitting there? I don't know, man. I get some weird vibes from this guy. He's giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? Did I, you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's some definite red flags going off with that dude. Like, I feel like that dude definitely uh, is a killer. All right. Let's Just saying. On the road. Yes. That cop yeah, back here definitely has killed some people. I agree. So where's this motel? And not in self-defense. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's that? If there's if there's a killer on the loose here yeah, in this game, hard. he's definitely topping the uh, the list that? for me. I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing. Up. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. Right? <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20 is debatable. Easy. Oh. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. <laughs> <laughs> a man of culture, I see. Yeah, that dude is definitely, uh... A little on the strange side, that cop back there was definitely a little weird. And, oh God, they did not arrive at the motel. They arrived at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. <laughs> Always confirm your plans. Hello? Never just assume. Anything. I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, Nate. clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, well, that's nice. Let's try knocking again. Is anybody home? Can I take that as a no? Alright, well. This is why you always verify your plans. If somebody doesn't answer, don't just assume that uh, the, the thing is still on or that you can just show up. I feel like we're learning a lot of important lessons here early on in this game. Okay, um... Hold up. Anybody in here? Coffee cup. I'm half, half expecting something to like jump out and try and scare you here. Gotta watch them jump scares, you know? This game doesn't seem too dark for you guys uh, that are watching along, by the way. I know it looks rather dark while I'm playing it. I don't, I'm don't. i just like playing on the base settings, though. So 
I apologize in advance if it seems like really dark. But it does kind of add to the, the mood, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, it's not, I don't know why it's like super dark on the um, broadcast. What do we got here? Some kind of a sign? A map. Okay. All right. What does it kill you? Will make you stronger. Fun. There you go. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. See? Lord, there's no one here. Come on. If we survive. One more minute, okay? We'll be stronger. Can we check this car out that he thought was abandoned? I guess not. Thought maybe we could interact with this vehicle in some sort, some uh, some fashion. But I was wrong. All right. Um. Let's find what we're looking for down here. Anything down here? I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. I have a tendency to miss some items on these games. And I want to try to do a better job about that here in this. Yeah, let's see if you got like a cellar door here or something. What the hell's down there? down there I'll be right back I'm gonna get some help why are they down there in like a locked cellar door Max Max get over here What's going on? there's somebody in the bunker I think they might be stuck Scott? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't help know. me step bro I'm tools, stuck so break the lock. hey I'm back we're gonna get you out of there sorry a bad joke what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking. I am. Let me see. I mean, there's definitely something down there's there. There's definitely someone there. Okay. Okay. So... Screw it. Let's take the hammer. When in doubt, we use the hammer. It's gonna be super loud. So and plus, it'll trying. make a good weapon if we need to fight, because we don't know what the deal is here. Why there's a person locked in the uh, cellar? Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head on in, I guess. You've seen the Evil Dead, right? Hello? I don't think this is a good idea for the record. Are you hurt? Do you exist? <laughs> Do you exist? Hey, be careful. 
You're really not coming with, dude? Um, okay. I don't know if I should pick this up, but uh, I'm curious now. Bloodied collar, alright. Bloodied collar, it said Ian. Hmm. That's a little weird. Whoa! That is a lot of bones. Max? There's definitely somebody or something down here with us. The only question is what? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here. It was a hell of a lot bigger than a possum, hey. dude. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but. I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination. Oh shit! Max? Max! Max! Oh, something just took a bite out of him. try and help him. Nobody's getting left behind. Not this early in the game. I don't know what we can do for you. Whatever it was took a massive bite out of him. Come on, up we go. What is that? Oh, I knew he couldn't trust this dude. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Um, okay. That just escalated really quickly. Well, uh, our buddy here, the officer, showed back up. And... He, I, I, I don't know if he just drugged her. He injected us with something. She dropped like a rock, and then he just unloaded on uh, old Max there. Granted, he was already in a world of hurt, and he got that chunk taken out of him. That cop seemed really pissed though that we didn't go to the Harbinger Motel. Uh, he, he definitely was not happy with us. Granted, I think at a motel may have been a better option based on what happened to us here. Just saying. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. <laughs> we are friends, aren't we? Sure. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. 
think of me as your guide. Into so I wonder if she's kind of like the curator. I think that's what they called him in the Dark Picture different. Anthology series. But All these games are kind of similar. I know this is called like the spiritual successor to Until Dawn. And I know like the Dark jump. Pictures Anthology series are kind of similar. This is the card you found. Yep. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? <laughs> Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Sure, why not? This is what might come to pass. A possible future. Alright, let's I look into her crystal ball here. Look here, look here. Whoa. That does not there look are good. Secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. See, I don't like that she's repeating the camp slogan thing there. It's kind of kind of creepy. Yeah, I wonder if she's kind of like the curator dude from, like, the uh, Dark Pictures Anthology games. So, like, what that person would do is, like, during a little intermissions and breaks and stuff like that, they would kind of talk to you, and they wouldn't outright tell you stuff, but you could kind of pick up on, like, hints and things like that and uh, potentially avoid danger. <laughs> like, they sometimes will tell you stuff... And you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And it may not, you may not realize it at the moment, but later in the game, you might be like, oh, I remember what this person said. Because I remember in um, Man of Medan, one of the Dark Pictures anthology games, um, there was this part where the guy, the curator said something like, uh, things, remember, things aren't as they seem. And then... What happens Raiders. later in the game, He's you slow. encounter some later, stuff yeah. like fucks with your head, you know? <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? That's not oh. the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh. <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. And there's Emma. Okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> she definitely is a ball buster, that's for sure. Hello, what do we have here? Oh, hey, this is Emma's. Seriously, dude. Alright, well... Whatever was going on between him and Emma, clearly he thinks it was more than what it was. It's weird to see this place in the daylight now after we got... I wonder what's killing the deer. Hmm, that's weird.
There's our sign. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. <laughs> well, uh, poor, uh, what was his name? Max and, uh, well, Laura, they, uh, hopefully are stronger. Hopefully they didn't die from the prologue there. Yeah, it's weird seeing this place here in the daytime. And one thing's for sure, we are not going down here. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? <laughs> Good to know. Great talk, dude. Great talk. Set up the stairs here. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Dick. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, did you lock it? Bolted it? Really? All right. That's nice. I gotta find a uh, another way in because they just locked us out. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, established 1953. People have been coming to this camp for a long time, from the looks of things. Alright, is this window unlocked? Yep, there we go. Oh, skill. <laughs> Ugh. Right. Horror. I hate horror. Well, if you hate horror, you're in the wrong place, my friend. Like, I got some bad news for you, bro. Anything in here that's of any uh, use, I wonder? there's nothing else in there for us to interact with. Let's take a little walk around here, why don't we? Never know what we can find. Big bear statue. Nothing for us to interact with, I guess. That's weird. I thought we would have encountered something. I 
There we go. This place needs a serious overhaul. Yeah, I definitely agree. Oh. Jesus. Falling apart on us here. Hey, we did find our way in now. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Okay, that's nice. Yeah, it's weird. You can go down that hallway and there's like nothing there. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. <laughs> okay. What does that say? General store? That's all we can interact with over here, I'm assuming. I'm trying to make sure, I'm trying to like make my way around here, make sure I don't miss anything. here temperance huh all right found ourselves another tarot card That's a bad place to get stuck. I uh, hope that's not foreshadowing anything. This is where I think we need to go. Oh no, there's our bags. Never mind. All right, I got the bags. All right, got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Thanks for the help. To get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? No, <laughs> you just said sexy. Ah, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp, by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes, Ryan... Me, of course. And Dylan, <laughs> Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, 
That's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? It's a good question. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. Savage! Oh, kind of oh shit, I'm sorry. That was <laughs> uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so are we sure that this old... Caitlin definitely old likes to uh, ball look. bust, it that's for be. sure. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd... Probably break the fuel line, or I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. <laughs> Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. Uh, I don't think either one of these things are a good idea, but unfortunately we have to uh, make a decision. This seems to do the less damage. The broken fuel line just seems like a complete disaster waiting to happen. This at least seems relatively fixable. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Oh, great. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, yeah. She's seriously throwing a phone? Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sign. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, <laughs> is being dumped an emergency. Ouch! Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? <laughs> Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Well then. Interesting.
Oh, it looks like she's an artist. We don't really know much about any of the other characters yet, but so far it looks like Abigail here is an artist. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Boom. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. <laughs> Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Why, why is the door locked? Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. A bear? Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. I'm pretty sure if a bear Wait. knocked down the door or whatever, it's gonna look a lot different than these two do it. One, two, three! Not to mention the destruction inside that it would likely cause. Oh, about the power. A positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Oh, always take one last uh, look around, make sure you didn't forget any items when you're leaving a uh, place you've been staying at. Aww. This was little Izzy's. Oh, hell no. This thing's creepy. No, we're leaving this thing. Yeah, we can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Yeah, we, we're not taking along a creepy doll. Wait, that is not happening. Sorry. What do we got here? I can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy, loose springs. What do we got here? Some kind of a paper? Be in the news. What was that newspaper headline saying? Newspaper scrap. Alright, so it looks like there's some kind of a fire I guess we can't go over there all right I think that's everything I believe that's everything we can find down here or out here Um, let's see what we got up here. What's up in this room, I wonder? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. <laughs> I'm sure his announcements were uh, rather interesting. Hey! You stop that! <gasps> okay. Doesn't look like there's anything back here. Always gotta look around. You never know what you might find. Alright, um, we'll make our way back through the camp here. 
I don't know if there's any other of these cabins that you can interact with or not. Hmm. What do got over here? Jacob and Emma. <laughs> Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. What do we got here? Empty vial? Well, I guess uh, whatever it is, she's not a fan of. Anything else around here you can interact with? I don't know if you can go into any of these other cabins or not. Because when I, when I was trying this out the other night, when uh, it wasn't picking up my headset audio... It wouldn't let me uh, interact. Yeah, it's not letting you interact with any of these other cabins from the looks of things. No big deal. I'm assuming they'd be locked anyway, considering the, uh, the other one... Our, our, our thing where our bags were was locked. We had to kind of push our way in, so I would assume that the rest of these aren't going to let us in either. Nothing else over here? Alright. Had to check, you know? Don't want to miss anything. Oh, oh, hello. We got something here. Shooting stars. Oh, anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Huh. Okay. Alright, Emma's probably like, why the hell are you taking so long? Don't worry, we're here. Let's do it. Final. I don't think there's anything else there we can interact with, so might as well get on up out of here. Let loose and vamoose this caboose. Really? How are you so dramatic? Annoying. <laughs> Confident. <laughs> it's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. Huh. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Trying to distract us here, Emma. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Nice steering tech. Jinkies. <laughs> okay, so hypothetically. If I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he really seems to be getting it. It's us. Give that it looked like he's about to sabotage the fucking van that you need to uh, he get out of here. Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. I really don't even check my email oh, unless, like, I know that uh, I've either oh, ordered what? something or, or I'm expecting something. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Alright, let's go the scenic route. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. 
<laughs> you know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trap. Hey, you heard her. She said it, guys, that are watching along here on YouTube. Please do all of those things. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Certainly looks it. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably, like, all <laughs> waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> Someone watching us? All right, so that was the scenic route. So you always gotta Jacob, I got you. admire I the scenery. Gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back. Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore <laughs> her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can. Take care of my own bag, thank you. Dude, just stop. You sure? I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care don't... of her own bag, thank you. Ooh. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Just let it go, bro. It was a summer thing. Just, <sighs> just let it go. She's made it clear. She, she's done. Here, let's give him a little push in the right direction. Uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes you just need a little friendly push in the right direction, you know? Too obviously a little awkward. Must have Is a little something for mine? each other. Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. So that's why he couldn't hear us. Podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast? about you <laughs> if anyone here had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast called how to look and smell like a butt oh my god you are so what tired. kind of an insult is that and smell like a butt no it's a, it's a paranormal podcast this episode was actually about this place weirdly enough huh the hag of hackett's quarry the who of the what's it where now what's the hag of hackett's quarry you don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> yeah, I think we better stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. This is Might piss her off. Story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers, 
or whatever. And, and this Wait, is that the woman that was like harassing us in the woods during the prologue? Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Oh, God. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. Right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Huh. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. <laughs> I mean, not for life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <laughs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. <laughs> uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. <laughs> all right that is why you should always charge your phone see we're learning all kinds of like important so, life lessons uh, here chris i'm actually glad we got a moment to talk uh uh-oh i'm not fired am i <laughs> no no it's, um it's just you know about the whole thing w with the hold that thought partner i'm gonna have to take this oh yeah okay Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I could have just said you wanted Hello. us to leave the room. Alright, uh, let's listen to our podcast. Maybe we can find out more about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I'm sorry, but you're the one trying to make it about ghosts and shit. Right. Speaking of, this is where the reports come in. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. Okay. All right, you Mr. H. Hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Thanks for the advice there, dude. Dang it. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. I'm still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh... Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb-sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the... Oh, the Hag of Hackett's... Just... Think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. Okay. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. Buster? It's a big part of being a counselor. A leader. Yeah. 
Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Okay. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why is that? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety <laughs> is the first step towards fun. The fuck? What the fuck Just is he talking about? Where in the good goddamn are they? Why is he acting so weird? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? No. Uh -uh. Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Oh, thank you. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Seriously? Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's get at him. Why is he in such a hurry? Like, be I mean, one thing, I guess, if like the weather were bad or something, I could see be like, all right, you got to get out of here before it gets dark, because visibility and like rough conditions sure and that but just ready to go. driving at night I don't, I don't know why he's acting so weird wait how did you get your phone back before the rest of us i never turned it in uh -uh. you sure did turn it off before you handed it in dylan them's the rules you noob <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine. Yeah, he knows exactly what the problem is. Yeah, dude, it's just like... kaput. Alright, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm... Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Why is he freaking out? You would think Caitlin would speak up and be like, "Yeah, Jacob, he he okay. definitely did something to the car because well, he was well, talking well, about it." Deal. Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No, no, just stop. Let right. me think. Okay. Um. What? What's the big deal? Of spending one more night. Ah! Whoa. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. He's got. What? Yeah. He's like right. seriously. I don't, I don't know what his deal is. Like he's some. He got. Like, he's seriously pissed off that we have to stay an extra night. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Why is he acting so weird? You know, some honesty, some transparency, something sure would be nice here right now. Inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. okay. Why? We'll first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Um, why? Can you, like, give us some answer? Yeah, 
Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Oh, he is acting like really weird. And he just taken off like that? What? What is his deal? So, what was that about? He uh said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. No, no, he was pretty clear. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Especially with the way he was acting. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. No, but the way he was acting, he was definitely freaked out. R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. I don't like this. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Em, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. Exactly. You know, like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he uh, want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to scare us. He seemed pretty scared himself. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. I. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. I uh, agree. Uh. <laughs> I I agree. This is a terrible idea. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. I really wish Mr. Hackett though right, would have. All right, all right, Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just I don't know. Figure out how to charge the phones for something. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Um. Yeah, I, I agree with Ryan, though. I think this is a terrible idea. We should just listen to Mr. Hackett, although I really wish he would have, like, told us why he wanted us to stay in there so bad. Is that a sniper? The hell? two dudes hunting season wait are they going to be hunting us because why is that dude pointing his gun at us I don't have a good feeling about this at all I was hoping you'd come back to me Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. 
or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. Okay. There's more I can show you, if you like. Yeah, why not? I was hoping you'd say that. Maybe we'll find something useful or important here. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. Oh, we always look out for look ourselves. Out for my cards. I always do a good job of looking out for uh, characters. <laughs> Just gotta uh, do a better job of looking out for the cards and stuff like that. Hopefully there was only one there. 